Ezekiel 18 is one of my favorite chapters in the whole book, and honestly, I almost preached on this chapter because it's so good. And I encourage you to read the chapter in its entirety. And it's a chapter about individual responsibility. Now let's face it, you can go back to the very first two people we read about in the Bible, Adam and Eve, and what do they do? They fail to take individual responsibility, right? Eve blames the snake. Adam blames the, the woman you gave me, right? There's no accepting of individual responsibility. And it just seems like it's elementally human to blame other people, to blame someone else for one's plight or one's condition or one's situation. And in the book of Ezekiel, we see this with the exiles, those who have survived and have been carried off to exile in Babylon. They don't blame themselves. They blame their ancestors. It's all our ancestors' fault. If they had been more faithful, if they had been true to God's covenant, none of this would have happened. It's not my fault. How often do we express ourselves like that, right? We don't accept individual responsibility. And Ezekiel points out in chapter 18 that the blame rests directly upon the exiles themselves. And this discussion is really parallel to what we see um, if you look back in Exodus chapter 20, uh, especially around verse 5. And so the, the verse of the day uh, actually comes from the end of this whole chapter about individual responsibility and how uh, before that God says basically around verse 23, you know, that God doesn't have any pleasure in the death of the wicked. Uh, God would much rather that they turn their ways and live. And we need to remember that too. You know, too often we seem to see people who would delight in the death of the wicked, but once the wicked are dead, there's no hope for them. There's no hope of change or salvation or transformation. Uh, we should never delight in the death of anyone. And God goes on to say that uh, a child's not going to suffer for the iniquity of the parents. The parents aren't going to suffer for the iniquity of the child. And then at the end of the chapter, in verse uh, 32, God says, For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone, says the Lord God. Turn then and live. And that is the call that God issues to every single person. Turn and live while you still have time. Accept responsibility for your life. Don't blame other people. Don't look for scapegoats. Uh, whatever it is in your life that you can control, make the best decisions and choices you can. Be as faithful as you possibly can. Put your trust in God and walk with God each and every day. Turn away from any sin, any transgression, uh, and let God lead your life and accept responsibility for it.